and I'll say a quick prayer. Father, we thank you for everybody who has come to join with us tonight in fellowship and those who are, are watching on Twitch from other platforms. And we just pray, Father, that uh, we can have a great time of fellowship. Everybody can, can hear everybody and, and express what they feel like they want to express. Um, we just give this time to you. And we give this time uh, to let people know who you are and what you've done. Um, and we just thank you, Father, uh, for the ability and the means to be able to uh, share this with people around the world, wherever they're at. And we just thank you for everything that you do for us. And uh, please bless our study as we're um, going to study about the birth of your son and we just ask it all in wow. jesus name amen all right that was nice man so well, yeah. thank you all right so um we will have bible study again next thursday um and then we talked about doing one on christmas eve um but my church has a christmas eve service um which they kind of sprung on me um that they weren't going to have one and they said that they wanted to have one so i won't be able to do it on um christmas eve which many of you may have your own service to go to so what i decided we could do is uh we would take um tonight and we would study about um like some of the prophecy of uh well, a little bit of the prophecies about Jesus coming and then kind of a little bit of his pre-birth I guess you could say and then next week we will actually talk about the birth of Jesus so we'll just kind of start a little bit um, I use the NIV Bible um, that's just the one I happen to have I don't claim one better than the other one but if you know some of the verses, they may sound a little bit different depending on your Bible. So, first off, um, and you're more than welcome if you have a Bible to turn to it and uh, see what yours uh, translation says. Um, but first off, we're going to talk about um, some of the things in the Old Testament that was talking about... Uh, you know Jesus's arrival um, and, and it's very important to be able to take the Old Testament and tie it in with the New Testament um, it, it's important that we can see um, you know if you was to put it on like a line graph that we see this nice easy flow um, into the New Testament um, so first um, I'm not going to go into detail, we can save that for another uh, Bible study, but, um, you know, there was a, the, there was a man named Abraham, um, and, uh, you know, he had a son, Isaac, and he was, uh, God told him to sacrifice Isaac at the altar, um, and he went to go do it, um, and the angel of the Lord come down and stopped him. And we're going to kind of get into some of this now. Um, but God made a covenant with Abraham. And I'm, I'm going to read here be prior to the altar incident. But it says in uh, Genesis 2 or 12, um, verses 2 and 3. Um, it says, I will make you into a great nation, and I will bless you. I will make your name great, and you will be a blessing. I will bless those who bless you, and whoever curses you, I will curse. Now, here is the part um, that I really want to stress. And all the peoples on earth will be blessed through you. Um, so, basically, just as it sounds, um, God's saying that everybody is going to be blessed through him. Um now, if I was to think of that, I wouldn't understand. You know, if somebody was to tell me that, I wouldn't get it. 
oh, I'd be kind of like, what? What's that mean? Um, but now we have, now I'll jump ahead to um, chapter 22, uh, and, and we'll go to verse 18. And this is after, um, as I said, you know, uh, the, the angel of the Lord come down to Abraham and uh, told him, you know, don't sacrifice your son. Uh, but verse 18 says, well, I'll start, I'll start with 17. 17 says, I will surely bless you and make your descendants as numerous as the stars in the sky and, it, and as the sand on the seashore. Your descendants will take possession of the cities of their enemies. And here, here's verse 18. And through your offspring, all nations on earth will be blessed because you have obeyed me. Um, so there again, we, we, we read that uh, it, it's being reaffirmed that uh, we will, you know, all nations will be blessed um, because of uh, his obedience to God through his offspring. So keep that in mind, and then um, I'm going to go to Isaiah. Flip through my Bible here. I'm gonna go to Isaiah seven fourteen. Isaiah seven fourteen. Okay, and here's what Isaiah seven fourteen says. It says, Therefore the Lord himself will give you a sign. The virgin will be with child and will give birth to a son. And he will call him Emmanuel. Well, Emmanuel, um, if you don't know, Emmanuel means God with us. Uh, so there they're talking, Isaiah's talking about, um, you know, a son born uh, to a virgin. Um, and he will be named Emmanuel. So then we'll go to Isaiah 9. And we'll go to verse 6. And it says, For unto us a child is born, to us a son is given. And the government will be on his shoulders, and he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. So here we have four different, and, and I'm sure there is more, but these are the four um, that I, I think are very uh, simply uh, put. Um, I mean, there's there's other places that that you can go and you can get into. Um, you know, you you can go from from. Uh, well, let me think. There's a scripture. There's a scripture that talks about. Uh, it's it's something through Jesse, um, which if I remember right, that was King David's father. Um, somebody can correct me if I'm wrong, but um, you're wrong. Okay, uh, then correct me. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> <I'm> kidding. <laughs> um, if if I remember right, and, and there's. There's other things that you could, um, that people could have a, have a few problems with, uh, saying, well, you know, uh, you know, this, this verse in the Bible doesn't technically sound like that fits, but if you, if you do enough of, like, the research, you will find that, um, that it does. But like I said, I just wanted to pick something that was, that didn't have to be broken down, um, that was pretty pretty simply talked about um so what we'll do um and isaiah uh, uh, isaiah is said to be um and i say said because i wasn't around but it's said to be written around 700 bc so when we're when we're talking about um you know prophecy i mean you know we're talking 700 plus um so 
but if you go to um, the first chapter of Matthew, um, it was always hard to get the kids to want to read this, but uh, my youth kids. But if you if you go to the first chapter of Matthew, um, the first thing it records is it records the genealogy from Abraham to Jesus. So you can go through there and you can see um, that God kept His promise. Um, with his, with Abraham's lineage. Um, so, yes, uh, Jesus is um, the descendant that, uh, Abraham's descendant that, uh, that blessed the world. Because, because we have Jesus, we are very blessed, whether you realize it or not. Um, you know, what does the Bible say? Every tongue confess, every knee shall bow. So, um, whether you choose to believe the Bible or not, um, this is what's going to happen. It's been written. Okay. So, so now we'll go ahead and, and like I mentioned, the, the Matthew there, but we'll also, um, and I'm going to read this whole part. I also want to read Matthew 1, 18 through 25. And here's what it says. It says, This is how the birth of Jesus Christ came about. His mother Mary was pledged to be married to Joseph. But before they came together, she was found to be with child through the Holy Spirit. Because Joseph, her husband, was a righteous man and did not want to expose her to public disgrace, he had in mind to divorce her quietly. Okay, now, when I stop there, I want to mention that at that time, under Jewish law, Joseph actually had the right to stone Mary. Um, but he was compassionate. He, he, Joseph was a compassionate, and he was a, you know, he was a, a, a merciful man. You know, and he didn't want any harm to come to her. So that's why that's why it says, you know, he had in mind to divorce her quietly. Because if he made a big stink out of it, chances are she was probably gonna get hurt or killed. Um, and I and I think it's very important to remember that Joseph wasn't happy about the situation in the beginning. Okay? But as we read on here, it says, but after this is verse twenty, but after he considered this an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary home as your wife, because what is conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. She will give birth to a son, and you are to give him the name Jesus, because he will save his people from all their sins. All this took place to fulfill what the Lord had said through the prophet. The virgin will be with child and will give birth to a son, and they will call him Emmanuel, which means God with us. When Joseph woke up, he did what the angel of the Lord had commanded him and took Mary home as his wife. But he had no union with her until she gave birth to a son, and he gave him the name Jesus. Okay, so in verse 23, it talks about, it says again, the virgin, it says, uh, I should go to 22. All this took place to fulfill what the Lord had said through the prophet. Well, the prophet they're talking about is Isaiah. Um, they're talking about, um, Isaiah verse se or chapter 17 verse 14 that's what they're referencing um, but you see Joseph in the beginning was not happy about the situation but what he you know what he did do after he understood you know after the angel of the Lord came to him he believed what the angel of the Lord was telling him and Basically, you know, Joseph submits to the will of God. It's what he does. He, he, he submits to, to the will of God because that's, that was God's will. Um, so, as, as, so we will go to Luke chapter 1 and we'll go, go through verses 26 through 38 now. And we'll, we'll see a little different perspective of, of what's going on. Um, okay. In the sixth month, God sent the angel, 
Again, it's, it's Luke chapter 1, verses 26 through 38. In the sixth month, God sent the angel Gabriel to Nazareth, a town in Galilee, to a virgin pledged to be married to a man named Joseph, a descendant of David. The virgin's name was Mary. The angel went to her and said, Greetings, you who are highly favored. The Lord is with you. Mary was greatly troubled at his words and wondered what kind of greeting this might be. But the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary. You have found favor with God. You will be with child and give birth to a son. And here you are, and here you are to give him the name Jesus. And you are to give him the name Jesus. He will be great and he will be called the Son of the Most High. The Lord God will give him the throne of his father David, and he will reign over the house of Jacob forever. His kingdom will never end. How will this be, Mary asked the angel, since I am a virgin? The angel answered, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. So the Holy One to be born will be called the Son of God. Even Elizabeth, your relative, is going to have a child in her old age, and she who was said to have been barren is in her sixth month for nothing is impossible with god i am the lord's servant mary answered may it be as you have said then the angel left her so you know what you what you read is you read mary and joseph both you know they they give in to the will of god um you know that's that's what god wanted that's what that's what they did um, and that's, and that's, that's where I'm actually going to stop, um, before we get into talking about the birth next week. Um, but, you know, I, I think some things to think about, um, you know, and, and maybe you can think of it, you know, if you're not married, maybe you can think of it on a scale of like, you know, uh, maybe thinking about Mary being your mother. If you're married, think about your wife being married. Um, how would that affect you? You know, I mean, I mean, if that was to happen today, what would you think? Would you would you just be like, okay, you know, my wife, she, you know, my soon-to-be wife is like gone. I mean, she's done. I I don't. I don't want nothing to do with her after this. Or would you really believe um would you really believe? I mean, I would really have to look at the character of that woman and how, how well I knew her or what she's like. And she's really believable. Yeah. Cuz I'd be like what what's your what are you trying to do with this? What's your what's your end goal? So, uh, if she was someone who was totally believable to me, I would still scratch my head, but I'd be like, okay, at least she's being sincere. But if there was anything in her past or anything about her that would make me question that she was lying about this just to save her own self because she had sex with some other guy, I'd be like, it's over. I don't, I don't believe you. Oh, I think the dreams come into play too. Yes. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. The Lord gave them signs and, and visions as far as guiding them towards His will. That uh, that also takes quite a bit of trust too. Yeah, I'm. I mean, you know, it's it's. I mean, I I guess I guess with the dreams. Would if if somebody let let's kind of change this perspective a little bit. If if one of your friends, let's say, come to you, and he had heard about all this, and how would you how would you how would you defend how would you defend your wife? How would you defend Mary? Um, to your friends who are like, you know, dude, why why are you gonna hang with that? You really believe that garbage? I mean, come on. Mm -hmm. So, so I mean, how how would you def how would you defend her? Because I mean, you know, you, you both you can't you can't really you know in a sense uh, prove anything. Um, mm. 
So, so how do wait, you? Wait, wait, wait! That's not true. That's not true. In this modern age, if if, if she let us put her to a test to see if she's still a virgin, you can do physical tests. No, I'm talking if back that, then. If we did that, and it turned out that she was truly still a virgin and she was pregnant. That's all I'd need. I'd be yeah, like, that's oh, true. wow. And t with today's standards, I'm I'm talking about like back then. You know, your, bu your buddy comes yeah. up to you and he's like, man. Back then, it's like whatever she says. I mean, I mean, you've got to defend her. So what would you, what would you really say? I mean, because every, everybody knows that, it, you know, you claim, a, you claim that, that you haven't, um, you know had sex with her yeah i don't i don't know i honestly have no answer i don't know what you would say in, in a way isn't it kind of unfortunate that she wasn't born in a day and age where we could check that Because how cool would that be oh yeah i so, mean so, i mean like if we could go back woman today, today got pregnant said she's uh, had pregnant she's a virgin and you could truly test that uh scientifically and find out yes she is a virgin she's pregnant that'd be awesome that'd be like Oh my goodness! You'd have to, um, you'd have to know the person. Uh, you know, a lot of these people, uh, back then, they're good friends. They know who these people are. You know, they trust them with all their heart. And when someone said, "You know what? I've never had sex before." I mean, you're telling Joseph freaked out when he found out that he's having a baby. Well, that's why you know the angel had to appear to him. Um, and he's still freaking out, you know, mm -hmm. but it's, you know, like if, you know, your good friend, um, knows who you are, they're gonna, they're gonna say, you know what, I've seen this guy work in action. This guy isn't who people think he is. This is, this guy is a real deal. And so the same thing with Mary, people said this, this, this gal, she's a real deal, you know? Can I just throw something out here? If I'm if I'm if I'm Joseph, and I had an angel, if I'm Doug, and I have an angel appear to me telling me she's straight, how much faith does it take for me to say okay? I mean, we, I mean that if I had a literal angel come to me and tell me that, all I'm gonna say is we, we sometimes we boast about Joseph's faith and his good nature, but he had an angel come to him. And say she's okay. I mean, come on. If I had that, I think it'd be pretty easy to say whatever you say. Because I don't know what's going on, but that's I have an angel in front of me telling me that she's fine. You see the point I'm trying to make? Oh, I see the point I, uh, you're trying to make. Um, well, you wouldn't question whether it was a dream. I don't know if that's what the Bible says, though. I mean, it says an angel came to him, not a tree, but an angel. Well, I'm ta I'm talking if you know. were Joseph. Maybe I'm wrong. If you were Joseph, I mean, would you wonder if you just had a dream? I don't know. Good question. You know, but I think I think you I I think you make a good point. If we if we could go today, you know, now we have the ability, you know, where we could actually. You know, they could take Mary somewhere and they could test her. And they, they could say, you know, hey, you know, yeah. You think about how many eyes of people um, who don't believe, how many eyes that would open. I mean, that would open so many eyes of people that were like, yeah, whoa. That, I, it would. It yeah. really would. Oh, I agree 100%. So, I mean, I, I, I think it's, 